Six-week standoff between Market Basket employees and the company's executives has ended, and the board of directors reached a deal to sell the company to fire its CEO, Arthur T. DeMullis, and make him the manager of day-to-day -day operations. Good evening, New Hampshire. I'm Tom Griffith. And I'm Shelley Walcott. It will still, still take a few months to close the deal, but employees return to work today, including managers who were fired along with Arthur T. Our Stephanie Woods joins us live from the Market Basket in Salem with the very latest. Steph. Thank you, Shelley. That's right. Arthur T. DeMoulis is buying back a majority of company stock today and bringing back his most loyal employees. Now, eight fired corporate executives are going back to work today. And one manager tells us the deal is worth all the days without a paycheck. Welcome back, A1. I'm so glad that you're open now. Customers are welcoming back employees who lost their jobs on July 20th. Market Basket CEOs Jim Gooch and Felicia Thornton fired eight corporate executives for leading the protest to reinstate ousted CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis. His thing is people over profit, so he may not take as big a profit as maybe some of the other companies out there, but uh, you know, his business model is, su is successful. And why, why toy with that? Distribution supervisor Tom Trainer was on vacation when he got the pink slip, 41 years after he started working for Market Basket. Although he wasn't shocked because he led a protest in Tewksbury the day before, Trainer didn't think that he'd be unemployed for six weeks. It was a very emotional roller coaster. Although the time off was tough, he'd do it all again for RDT. It was a high, then a low, and then we heard another high at the end of the day when, when, he, when it was uh, ratified by the board. But um, no, I never questioned my reasoning for doing what I did, and I'd do it again. But Trainer wasn't the only employee out of 25,000 affected. Store managers cut part time workers' hours in early August, but not all employees could afford to be unemployed. I was pretty shocked, actually. I didn't really know what to do. I just asked my mom for like, stuff around the house for money, for like, pretty much to replace Market Basket. And then I found another job. So I was pretty much set with that. Yeah, you know, you go from having a job, having income, to just not having anything. And then I spent like two weeks looking for jobs, doing odd jobs, doing pretty much anything I could to make money. And it kind of just, it just stunk. Most part-time workers at this Salem store were relieved to hear they could return to work Thursday. So much better. I feel like not nervous anymore. I like weight lifted off my shoulders big time. Trainer said there were moments when he wondered if the board of directors and shareholders could make a deal, but he never doubted that given the chance, Arthur T would give him his job back. You know, Arthur T had never lied to me before. He never lies to anybody, and uh, he said he would never abandon us, and I believe him. Although Pelham native Tom Trainer says there's a lot of work to be done to bring the store back, he says that he's just glad to be working at all. Live in Salem, Stephanie Woods, WMUR News 9.